Hello everyone, it's the Jeremy Good Gamer, and thank you for joining myself and of course Arthur on our de je oh, 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 journey, journey to destiny. That is what we're doing. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this out yesterday. Um, I would like to go into why, and perhaps I'll make a separate video uh, as to why that was later. Um, but for now, for now though, all I want you to know is that I am with you, Arthur is with you, and we are ready to continue. You may notice though that things look a little bit different in the uh, inventory maybe? I don't know, maybe they don't, maybe they do. Um, the reason for that is also to be explained pos uh, possibly in the, uh, perhaps we could call it, what should we call it? We should call it the, I don't know, the prologue? Um, Perhaps the, hmm, perhaps, perhaps we can call it the, the next chapter, maybe we can call it the next chapter, anyway, it's actually getting dark, it's getting dark, and that's a shame, so we have to be very quick, we have to get out these weapons, these uh, instruments of destruction and manufacture, and we're going to have to switch our axe and get out very quickly, because it's night time, and he overslept, he overslept considerably, but he knows what we have to do. Arthur knows what he has to do. If you notice, though, we can see a bit further. Uh, not as far as we'd like, as Arthur is short-sighted. I wasn't lying about that. Uh, we'll get as high as we can just to get a good viewpoint of view, good bearing. And goodbye, dear hut. Goodbye. But I wasn't lying about the short-sightedness. Um, it was simply that last time Arthur was crying and the tears... Let's get the axe, the uh, pickaxe. Oh no, we don't need that. The shovel, and the tears, the tears, obviously, uh, they, they hindered his viewpoint slightly, and that is the reason why uh, he still can't see as far as he would would have liked to. But you know, obviously, we can deal with that and we can accept that of him. That's uh, totally acceptable. Having lost his aunt, and that's where we want to go. And having lost his 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 livelihood and his boyhood, and he's been thrust thrust um, violently into the world of men and orcs and injustice but Arthur he, he read books of old and he knows he knows the first thing he needs to do and from experience as well he's already experiencing the real world for what it really is and he knows that he does not want to spend another night as he did or day as well as he did over sleep quite a lot but you know he's been through a lot of stress he doesn't want to spend another day without light. Light is necessary, and he knows how to make light. That's one of the few things he does know how to make. As obviously, living on a farm, you do have to tend to your sheep, tend to your lost flock at night, and that's exactly what he did. So he knew how to make a torch, he knew how to make a, a few sticks uh, and some coal, and he knows that's all he needed. But it's getting quite dark, and we can't really see anything. Is this? Is this? No. So let's just do, let's do a little bit of random digging with, uh, with Arthur and see if we can find anything of, of use to us. Who knows? It's uh, it's an exciting time as well for Arthur. Um, obviously, obviously he, he he doesn't you know he doesn't want his uh, wants his aunt to be dead or to be to be gone. But there's nothing he can do about that that now. And he's he's sort of enjoying the freedom. Um, don't you know? Don't don't judge him for that. Um, you may feel the same way if you were to be thrust into this world and realize that you actually quite enjoy it. Um, you didn't think you would at all. Obviously, he still knows nothing about the game. Oh God, no! <laughs> about this life, this life. Um, <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. I don't either. And uh, I'm looking through his point of view, and obviously, it's helping me to learn at the same time. So let's just keep moving. Keep moving. Uh, but he heard some weird things last night as well, and he doesn't doesn't quite know what they could have been. Uh, there were noises. There were. Um, he even had. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's let's go back outside, uh, get some moonlight, and make up another another tool, tool of the trade. And this time we're going to make a. Yes, we got some cobblestone, and we're going to make. A uh, nice, nice weapon. A not not a nice weapon. A nice pickaxe. So here we go. We have to get this. There we go. Nope. 
Do we put this? Yes, we do. We put this up here. I'm sure of it. There we go. And then we get some sticks. And there we go. Arthur is moving up in the world. Okay, let's pick this back up. And we are ready. Let's let's dig a little bit closer to home and see if we get lucky. As I was saying, he heard some strange noises last night, and um, that's also part of the reason why he didn't come out for a long time, a long, long time. So he's he's hoping that he won't find out what those those noises really are. Um, there's a little bit of a hole here. We didn't cut this. Oh. Oh, a bit of dirt. That's fine. Dirt's fine. Oh, that's our old passage. There we go. Okay. Let's dig in this direction now instead. Let's see what we can find. We had a few technical hitches yesterday. Uh, last night. And I would hope that Arthur, with his permission, would allow me to put out some of those, those uh, technical hitches. Um... I'm sure he would, I'm sure he would. We can see those, actually I think we should see them as uh, false or uh, unwritten chapters of his life, which he would prepare, prepare to, uh, sorry, prepare? Uh, prefer to keep unread, but uh, I'm sure I can persuade him to uh, allow that to happen. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? What? What is this? Arthur, don't don't freak out on me. Don't don't freak out on me. What are you doing? Oh get get back. Get back in now. Come on, Arthur. Come on. That's it. Pick up that stone if you want. Come on, Arthur. How do you how do you crouch? There we go. Okay, what's going on? What's going on here? What is going on? Keep that there for now. Oh. Arthur. Can we eat this? What is it? Gunpowder. Where do we get gunpowder from? Arthur, what have you been doing? Okay, we're not hungry anymore. What is this place? These steps as well. Is this just from an adventure of old? Is that what it is? It must be it. Arthur, you've come across the tracks of... of an ancient... an ancient Minecraftian. This must only be a good omen. To follow in the, that man's tracks, or woman's tracks. That is simply amazing. Oh wow, and it goes up to the top of the mountain perhaps. Oh, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's find out if there is anything at the top. Let's find out if this... Uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that view. If this legendary man has left anything up here. Obviously using your spade to good effect here, Arthur. Well done. There'll soon be a, a man to be... to be feared. No, not to be feared. That's not what you want. But a man, you know, that is actually a man and can actually... Uh, do anything, anything or everything in this in this wondrous place, this wondrous land. Is there nothing up here? Well, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. We can mark this as our own. One, two. Anything else we got? No, but we can mark this as our own. Uh, if I knew how to make a decoration, I would put something down. Let's perhaps... Yeah, let's make a crafting table and see if we'll, see what we can make. Let's make a. Can we make anything gunpowder? No. Pick those up. Let's make. Yeah, let's do that. No. How do you do it? How do you do this? No. How do we make those slabs again? Perhaps we go. Oh, no, they're the same. So why are they separated? It doesn't even matter. I doesn't care. I shouldn't care either. Hmm. 
We would like to make some stone slabs, but perhaps we can't do that. Wooden planks. Let's make some wooden planks instead. I mean, let's put some wooden planks down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to... Oh. Yeah, that's cool. We're going to make a little house up here. What on Arthur. I didn't even think of that myself. I should have done. We've got some trees here if we need more. So this is going to be our first, uh, first proper, proper place to be. Oh. So Arthur is going up in the world. He, uh, we start off being attacked by orcs, uh, by es escaping from these orcs, and finally, finally he's now pushing forward, thrusting himself into this world. And you know he doesn't even mind. He's uh, I, I think he, I think he, you know, like a little boy, little boy he is. I think um, this new adventure is just thrilling, completely thrilling for him, and that's understandable. That is understandable, definitely. I f I'm sure that a lot of you would feel the same way. Thrust into, thrust into his position. I'm sure though that eventually it will sink in, and he'll have to, uh, he'll have to search for or quest. For his aunt's cowardly, cowardly killers. But for now, though, for now he's he's content. And that's that's all that can that's all that matters at the moment. As long as he's happy, then we're happy. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I'll I'll talk a little bit about Arthur's family and his non-existent parents and he doesn't know anything about anything about them or anything about his past in general um, and the reason for this is that whenever Arthur brought this subject up and he first brought it up when he was three years old his aunt his aunt would look at him and suddenly she would go mad so then suddenly she would change from the kind-hearted sweet old lady no, that's a lie. She's not. She wasn't old at all. The kind-hearted lady that she was, she would suddenly change to being a uh, very abrupt, very direct lady, and um, she would she would take Arthur by the hair and say, "Don't you ever, don't you ever bring up your parents again." And since that day, uh, Arthur hasn't brought it up, but he doesn't know why. He doesn't know why. His aunt was affected so, and that's probably another question. He's realizing these now. He's realizing all these questions about his life that he can now find out, and now possibly have the chance of finding out. And that's that's an exciting prospect. He may eventually even find out what what's happened to them, or whether or not they're still alive. I mean, who knows? This world is unbelievably large, and we're going to follow Arthur's progress. We're going to follow his progress throughout. I'm, I hope you're excited to follow as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is we actually have some torches as well, don't we? We should go back down. That's what we should do. Now that we know there's no one else about, we should go back down, take the torches, and we should put them within our house, our uh, our hilltop peak, our our Moss and Bailey Castle that we are to create as that is actually a good idea I think that's what I'm going to do before it gets too dark unfortunately short sightedness is a hindrance here but before it gets too dark though, let's get back down if we can find the entrance unless it's a mystical cavern which changes entrance every so often let's make sure that we know there we go these uh, sand sandy blocks they do uh, they do show us the way I'm sure that's the reason why they're there as well. Okay. I think that we're going down. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want Arthur to fall. Uh, he's fine with heights, but I'm not. <laughs> so I don't want him to fall. And uh, but I'm sure he wouldn't. I'm sure he's sturdy on those uh, those goat-like feet. They're not goat-like. They're just very, very. Uh, Dexterous and agile. Let's just dig inwards from here, because um, I am a bit wary of the fact that. Oh my gosh! There we go. Th we found some guys. We can make our own. Arthur can now make his own, own torches for his own Moss and Bailey Castle. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to 
make some torches from this coal and we are going to go to town tonight we're going to be tonight we're not going to be in the dark ladies and gentlemen oh yes yeah here we are this, this is the mother load this is the mother load I am super excited we've hit the gold mine figuratively speaking of coal wow look at all this I hope it doesn't unrespawn the ore whatever it's called and it's a pyramid so I'm going to have to make a step pick it all up pick it all up yes and we have a lot of coal okay okay I'm happy I'm very happy with this Oh. oh, look at that. We found the other hole. Found the hole out onto the other side. That's amazing. So let's pick up those torches from in here as well. Where are they? Where are the torches? We should go and find them again. Down. Oh, dear. Ow. Don't know who put them there. They're now ours. Thank you very much. Oh. Nice. Let's pick up a torch that we already have and wield it. Let's wield our torch. There. We have we have beautiful light now. Beautiful, beautiful light. What I might also do, probably be a good idea, put a sapling. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Is uh, make a dirt track over here so we know which way we're going, basically. There. So for next time, we'll know. We'll know to... Come down here, and absolutely fantastic. We are, we've made a lot of progress. Arthur is growing. He's he's growing. He definitely is. There we go. And a few down here. We don't want to fall down. There we go. I'm very happy. Very very happy. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna put a torch here as well. Um, so it can get dark at night, and we don't want it to. We don't want it to get too dark. Could we make a quick path up? Actually, that's a that's a good idea. Let's make a quick path up. Okay. <laughs> Should I do this? There we go. <laughs> and that's my quick path. <laughs> no, it's not. Let's let's keep going. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, Arthur, you are a braver man than I am. And that's right. I called you a man. You've You've, you've earned one man card from this display of incredible acrobatics and there we go okay put one here so you didn't have to be as careful there so you could just fall down that was fine that was absolutely fine you did scare me a little bit uh, don't do that again and there we go okay and we'll start moving upwards again good good I am super impressed with you Arthur you have you've shown you've shown yourself to be worth so much more than I previously imagined, and uh, oh, and that's just incredible. Well done. We are forming and forging this world for our own benefit and own gain, and that's exactly that's exactly what I want to see you do. You're striding out there, head held tall. It doesn't matter that you've been through so much pain. And look at that, our bastion, our bastion of light, and you you created that, Arthur. Well done. Look down there, that's a hovel from last night. Well, two nights before, actually, because you did. You did have a sleep. Um, that's fine. You had a lot of stress, a lot of trauma, and that's what happens. Let's get up to our bastion of light and really, really get to work on creating a, a more formal, uh, less archaic atmosphere. No, sorry, less formal, I meant, and less archaic atmosphere. What I, Arthur would really like to do, what I would like to do as well, um, is I'd like to make, learn how to make those cobblestone slabs because, you know, they were, they were a good idea. Perhaps I do have to definitely use this. Okay, so cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. Do I have to have four of these? Maybe is that what I have to do? No. Do they go like this? No. No. I'm sorry if this is frustrating for you, for you viewers, but you know this is Arthur's first, first time making. He's never been a, any sort of uh, stonesmith of any t type or any sort, so it's very, um, very new to him. 
that's okay, we don't mind. We don't mind too much, do we? If you do, then I'm sorry. But there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. I've, uh... I'm reliving Arthur's past, and this is... Uh, this is what we want to see. We've got 60 of them. Another 60. Perfect. Let's pick up the remainder. And Arthur doesn't know how to... You know, hold multiple things at once, so he always has to drop everything. Which is okay, I guess. Wrong one. Go on, Arthur, get out your axe. You know which one's which. And let's put down some... Some of these cobblestone slabs. It's getting quite late. Uh, you see the sun's going down. Oh dear, quickly, quickly now. It's fine. Uh, there we go. Okay. Almost done, almost done. No! There. Okay, we can just do it like this. Oh, we can jump up here. Absolutely fine. Let's keep making. Almost done, almost done, Arthur. And then you can go to sleep. Or maybe you should make a... A, uh, a roof as well. Should we do that? Should we make a quick roof? Yeah, let's make a quick roof. Okay. It's getting quite dark. That's alright. Let's get a torch out very quickly. There we go. Look how look how lovely that looks. Look how lovely that looks already. Okay. Absolutely amazing. One more there. We don't have a door, and we don't know how to make a door. So that's going to have to be, have to be something we have to work on. Okay. There we go. Pick this up. We want to make it aesthetically pleasing as possible. Get back inside and place a few more of these slabs at the top. Okay. And this is looking absolutely fantastic. So, we've got some more of these slabs. We need another 60. Let's keep making. Keep plugging away. And then, Arthur, you can oversleep again. Absolutely fine. Okay. This is, this is beautiful. You're really getting to the swing of this now, Arthur. You could make a good stonesmith. But no, that's not your destiny. We don't know what your destiny is yet. And there we go. That's a, that's a front path. Front porch. Um, we don't know what your destiny is yet, Arthur, but we will eventually find out. We should also make a door. Um, I don't know how to make a door, nor does Arthur. So we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, what's the word? Innovate, or we're gonna try and um, just guess, basically. There's, there's, there is a, another word for guess, which sounds more floral, but I can't think of it at the moment. So I have to deal with it. Gonna have to deal with it. Uh, improvise, perhaps. No, maybe not. Okay, so let's put some of these down. How would you make a door? Is it going to be like this? Is this going to be it? A chest! No, but there's something moving outside. I'm very wary of that. Quick, let's close this up. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? We close it up just in time. I am... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Perhaps it doesn't like flowers. Perhaps we can use flowers against it. Let's make this as pretty as possible. Quick. Quickly. There we go. One, one red one there, but it's not a good place. So, one there. And one there. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Those must have been the things that out last night that he heard. Right, we need protection from them. Screw the torches, screw everything else. We are making weapons. Arthur, it's time. No. <laughs> I think, yes, Arthur, I think that's exactly what I'm thinking as well. There we go. We have, we have an arm. We have one arm ready. I don't want two, I want one. We've made two, so that's fine. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Put all these down. 
and we do we do still need a door. However, I am unsure how to make that. So perhaps is it even planks? It could be something else entirely. Uh, that's fine. We don't need a door tonight. We don't need a door. But something you do know how to make because you are an expert at this, uh, having had to find those lost sheep late at night. Let's make a torch. Make let's make lots of torches and burn our pockets. Burn our pockets for them. So a torch. We go overboard because we, you know, we're not a fan of the night and we do not ever want to spend a night in the darkness ever again. So there we go. Wrong place. There. There we go. And there we have it. Arthur is surrounded at the moment by... We don't even know what they are. He's surrounded by some things, by green bogies. But that's, that's alright because we are inside our lovely, lovely abode. Our hilltop fort. Our Morton Bailey castle. And the music's happy with us. Let's listen to that. If you can hear it, listen to that. All right, well, thank you very much, everyone. This has been Arthur's second, well, really third night, having overslept the first, second night. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we're going to continue next time. Who knows what that might bring. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll try not to have any more uh, technical hit, uh, hitches or unwritten chapters thrown in. Well, I, may, I may put up a video, though, of uh, exactly what happened, but be prepared. It may not be as flourished and uh, <laughs> and uh, archaic as this one. Anyway, thank you very much, generally good guys and girls. I've been the generally good gamer. This has been Arthur with his new new torch, new bush, and his iron sword. All right, no, it's not iron. It's stone. <laughs> Oops. Thank you very much. I will see you all later.